Hello everyone, this is Talha Rehan from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today I'll be talking about configuration of Informatica's MSD CRM adapter. So before proceeding to configuration, we assume that prerequisites and installation steps are completed successfully as per the user guide. So we have following broadly classified authentication methods offered by Informatica adapter for MSD CRM. So first is Active Directory. It is a Kerberos protocol based authentication uh, which works with Microsoft's Active Directory. And then we have Claims based authentication. It requires a uh, STS service running on a server like ADFS from Microsoft. And then we offer Passport Connection which works for online MSD CRM accounts wherein you can authenticate yourself with a live ID or an Office 365 account. So in this presentation we'll talk how to configure an Active Directory configuration uh, I mean to say Active Directory authentication for MSD CRM adapter. So here is a diagram or you can say high level architecture which depicts how authentication steps for Informatica adapter or uh, Informatica designer client are. So basically it's a Kerberos authentication process being shown by this diagram. Uh, here you see that there are three components. One is client which is nothing but Informatica adapter or Informatica designer client tool. And then we have one active directory and one, and, and the one component is Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So we'll just try to understand the steps here. Initially Client sends an, an anonymous request to MSD CRM server. Server expects a client to communicate with a valid Kerberos token. And it asks the client to have a one, one valid Kerberos token. And then client communicates with Active Directory and follows the procedure, gets authenticated with Active Directory and gets a valid Kerberos token to access MSD CRM services. Now after getting a valid token, client and server communication starts which will be valid and co will continue and or can continue till the lifetime of the token so in in order for the client to know about the active directory we have to configure a couple of things at the client side uh, by the client we mean here informatica adapter or informatica designer client tool so we'll see what files we need to configure so here we have two files to be configured one is krb5.conf and another is login.conf krb5.conf is a client side Kerberos configuration file it contains details of what KDC key distribution center to go for and for which domain so we'll see in detail what all needs to be configured for this file and then we have one another file to be configured which is login.conf which is basically a JAS config file which has login context details like what is the SPN for a given CRM host and some other attributes. So now we'll discuss some required sections to be configured for each of these files in order to authenticate Informatica MSG CRM adapter. So we have krb5.conf. We'll talk about it. It is located at the shown location at client and server respectively. And we, we have following sections to be configured in this file. So the first you see here is lib defaults. It contains various default values to be used by the Kerberos libraries at client and we can specify a list of encryption methods for client and server. As you see we have listed down here three attributes to be configured which are required for Informatica adapter to MSD CRM. First is default TKT ENC types it is nothing but supported list of session key encryption that can be requested by a client. And then you have TGS e encryption types which is session key encryption type that can be returned by a server. And then we have permitted encryption types. Values in encryption type list should be separated by a comma or a white space. We'll see an example. Now another section that we need to configure is realm. So all the entries in realm section are, uh, are, are are particular realms in the Kerberos and value of each subsection it will depict properties for that particular realm. 
and it, it will be more more clear when we see an example and one more section that we need to configure is domain rel it needs mapping it, it actually has mappings from domains or subdomains or host names to the Kerberos uh, uh, to, to Kerberos realm it is used by a program to, to know what realm a host should be given what is its fully qualified domain name etc we'll see an example for this so here is an example of krb5.com file you see a lib default section it, it contains values for TKT encryption types, TGS encryption types and permitted encryption types so you see the values being separated here like RC4 and HMAC is an entry uh, likewise you can have multiple entries for encryption types and then next section you see uh, is realm section uh, in this example we have only one entry in this section you can have multiple entries like for example we have an example dot com so it is a syntax that ne you, you need to follow and you can specify kdc is the host name of your active directory server so here sample dc dot example dot com is basically host name for active directory and then we have default domain for those hosts which, which we which which do not have domain name and which is basically in version 4 of Kerberos so we, we might need to we might need to you know configure in case of version 4 now we have one more section to be configured as we explained is domain realm so it maps a domain or a subdomain or a host to a section which is named realms in this file so you see dot example dot com actually maps to example dot com named realm so for any host name under example dot com as a domain name the adapter would know it has to go to realm example dot com for getting the kdc value now we move on to login dot conf here you can see the location of this file is under server bin java lib mlcrm conf and then there are a couple of options that you need to configure for informatica adapter so one entry is it requires krb5 login module class which you need to configure as it is and then you specify store pass equal to true it's it's basically it means that the login module will store the username and password obtained from the callback handler so so that it 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 will never prompt the user again and again to enter the password once it has acquired the details from user now we, here we have one very important entry to be configured in login.conf file which is for a given server url what is the spn this adapter or informatica designer client would use in order to get authenticated and get a valid kerberos token so example you can see his here is uh, crm app01.contoso.com it is an example url for msd crm which would have crm service at the rate contoso.com as the spn so uh, spn is a is a user which is running the msd crm services or the app pool so it is required for acquiring a valid kerberos token and one, one, one key thing to be noted here is that server url in above entry in login.conf is case sensitive and the entry here should be exactly the same what you configure in designer client or for your connection for informatica sessions to execute so here we have an example of login.conf so uh, spinago hyphen client this is a keyword for informatica adapter and then you have krp5 login module required you have store pass equal to true and here you see two entries gcsadtest.gcsad.com it is one msdci url which has test one at the rate gcsad.com as the spn and one more key thing to notice here is that last entry in this login context is terminated with a semicolon as well as this login uh, login context is terminated with a semicolon so this is the syntax we need to follow so with these 
configurations we are pretty much done for Informatica adapter to be configured for Active Directory authentication. Now we'll move on to SSL or TSL based authentication with Active Directory. So in order to get authenticated over SSL we need to follow all these steps what we saw so far for Active Directory. In addition to that we have to import certificates for MSD CRM server. So here uh, you have to include the certificates into the Java key stores at client side and server side. You have the locations listed here which you can check in your installations. So these are the key store locations where you have to add the certificate and in case you have different Java home then you have to use appropriate Java key store to add certificate. It, it might be the case most likely with AIX and HPUX platforms. So here is an example command which you can use to import certificates. You might be aware of this. So it's, it's, it's an example for you to refer. So here in case you have uh, you, you are using Informatica as Java or Java is shipped with Informatica then you can use the first command and in case you have a separate Java home configured then you can refer to this one. So with this we are pretty much done with the configuration needed in addition to Active Directory to get authenticated over SSL and please provide your valuable comments and any feedbacks. Thank you so much.